hey everyone welcome back to my channel so i'm continuing the same topic that is outbound coil flow in my previous lecture i discussed about internal call flow that is an outbound whenever someone is making a call to an internal extensions via four digit tiling or a full 10 digit tiling we already discussed how to create the translation patterns for a four digit tiling and for the 10 digit tiling so now i'm going to discuss about to make an external outbound call to the psd envoy right so uh, I have already discussed earlier what all are the things we need to uh, configure first, but let me show it to you as well now. So we need uh, to create, we already created this translation pattern, directory number, CSS and partitions in our previous lecture and the device pool. Now in this lecture, we need to discuss about this route pattern, route list, route groups, gateways, PRI, and this SLRG concept that is standard local route group. So let's just start it, how we can create these things, how we can configure this thing, right? So let me just log in on the CUCM with my admin credentials, right? So first we need to add, we need to configure the gateway here I can't like configure the gateway and register it because I do not have that PRI and anything attached. So we have, uh, I have already created that zip trunk and it will show it up there, but I will just show you how we can add the gateway, how we can add configure this gateway. So for that, you need to go to this device pool and here you can see the gateway. And once you click on this gateway, it will show you the options to choose it from. Right, once you click on this, add new. So let me just click on this, add new. I hope you guys already know to create this route pattern, we need to create route list, we need to create route list. We have to create route group first and to create route group, we need to create or configure the gateway first, right? And once you click on add new, it is asking for a gateway type. So let's suppose we have, we have this 39253945 gateways. And in this drop down, you can see this Cisco ISR, Cisco VG248, this H323 gateway as well. So let's let's just choose this H323 gateway, right? And then click on next. If any of your gateway is running on SIP, then there is no option to choose a SIP on the gateway because SIP gateway is nothing. SIP, it, it's just SIP trunk you need to create which will go to that gateway and make a connection right as of now like we can say it's showing h323 gateway you can just uh, give a device name like i'm just configuring it like gateway underscore pst and description device pool you can choose i just like created dp underscore test or rest of the things are i'm just putting it as default i'm not gonna change anything right so now let me just click on save. It's saying click the apply configuration to have the changes take effect. So I'm not gonna adding anything on the gateway, any configuration on the CLI page, like on the gateway, uh, so that it will make a connection. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that right now, right? So I'm just showing it how you can create a gateway on the CUCM site. So I have already created that SIP trunk and if you don't know how to create the zip trunk you can go and check my lecture on the zip trunk it will show you how you can create the zip profile first how you can get the zip trunk security profile and how you can create the zip trunk that is that will be i believe for five or seven minutes you will be able to learn how to create the zip trunk you can go and check it out and i i'll provide the link in i button as well so you can just hit and then you can see it so now, uh, once we add the gateway, you have to add the PRIs here as well. Once we add the PRIs and then you can create your route groups, right? So let me just click on this go and we'll show you, it will show your H323 gateway is created or configured here. So once I click on this find option, you will be able to see this gateway underscore PSTN, which I just added device pool is here and status is showing none because i haven't added anything 
right? And this is my another gateway which I added earlier that is 3945. And here you can see it is also showing like status C endpoints. I haven't configured any endpoints. Let, let, me, let me show it to you as well. So once we click on this C endpoints, you can see at as it, it is showing like no records found. Let me just click on this find. Okay. So while clicking on find, it will let let's see it will show something or not. So it's not showing anything. That means we haven't created anything. No endpoints is created, right? And this gate underscore PSTN, we just created status is showing none because we need to add few commands on the gateway as well to make changes effect. We need to add the IP address. We need to add the commands for the H323, right? So I'm just gonna use the zip trunk to PSTN, which I already created earlier in the route group. For the route group, you need to go to this called routing and then you can see route slash hunt and here are the options route group, route list and route pattern. So first we need to go to this route group first. Correct. And we are gonna add a new route group. In this route group, you will be able to see that zip trunk two cup which I already created earlier is showing. And the next thing which I just created that is gateway underscore PST and it will show, but it will not show that particular in which I selected Cisco 3945 earlier. I just created it earlier, but we haven't added any endpoints. That's why it is not showing up here. So now here you can see two things, gateway underscore PST and zip trunk is showing up here and route group name, let me just uh, give it that route group underscore PSTN, correct? And distribution algo, whether you need to use it as a top-down or a circular approach, it's like if you have more than two, then it's useful. Like if you're choosing circular, then first, second, first, second, first, second, same with the top-down, first, second, first, second, first, second, right? If you have more than three, four, five, then you can use this circular as well. So it depends how you want to use it. So now you can see, I just added this route group name, distribution algo, and it is showing available devices as a trunk to cup and gateway underscore PST. So let's just add it to the route group. Let me just click on this zip trunk to cup and gateway underscore PST is also showing. So let me just click on this one and add to route group, right? So now you can see it is showing under the selected devices. And let me just add this one as well, gateway underscore PSTN. Once you click on this gateway underscore PSTN and click on add to route group, it will add it in the bottom to the zip trunk to cup. And if you want to add this, if you want to use this gateway underscore PSTN as a first priority, just move it upwards. And the second priority would be the zip trunk to cup. And if you want to remove anything, just select it and then just drag, just click on the down arrow and it will go to this removed devices, right? So now it's just this gateway underscore PSTN is added and then click on save. Now what you did, you added the gateway earlier. Now you created the route group and added that particular gateway in that particular route group. Here you can see route group members as gateway underscore PSTN, correct? So next step would be to create the route list, right? So let me create on this, let me click on this route list. Here, let's just click on add new and in this route list, you need to add the name first and then you need to add the route group, which you just created. So now we are creating route list and name would be, let's just give it a name route list PSTN. And you can just leave as blank description. CCM group, you need to choose. I haven't added anything. That's why I'm choosing it as a default. And then click on save. After clicking on save, you will get the option to add the route group, right? Here you can see it is saying, selected CUCM group has only one CUCM configured. For the control process to have redundancy protection, please select CUCM group with more than one CUCM, right? So I haven't added anything. I have just one. That's why it is just giving a warning. It's not an error. It's just a warning, right? Now I need to add it to the route group. 
let me add the route group to the route list so just click on this add route group and it will show you those options here here you can see it is showing standard local route group i already told you earlier we will discuss about this slrg and the next is a route group underscore psgn which i just created so let me choose slrg first and click on save okay so slrg is just got added so maybe you will say like you haven't configured anything on slrg and how they are from where this slrg is coming so this slrg is by default coming once you click on this add route group but you need to add the gateway under this slrg by going to device pool i will show it to you in a bit but this first priority would be slrg i wanted to add another route group which i created as well because sometimes if any of the gateway if any gateway in the slrg is down then i should be having the next thing that is secondary one so i would add this route group underscore pst in which i just created before creating this route list and route group so that it will go to the second priority here you can see the first priority would be slrg second priority would be route group underscore pst and then click on so if you want to remove just select it and click on this down here right and i'm gonna click on save so i i'll discuss about this slrg after creating that route pattern right so don't worry i'll, I'll just discuss about it for sure right so now you can see route list is showing registered with cucm the cucm ip and all everything is showing up here update successful now after the route list you should create this route group and this route list you need to add it under the route pattern so now oh sorry i clicked on route group i should click on the route pattern right because route list would be added in under the route pattern so let me just click on this route pattern and then i'll add this route list under the route pattern and click on add new So after clicking on add new, you will be able to see this route pattern and this thing that is route list here, right? So route pattern, it's like if I'm making a call to an outside number, it can be uh, an uh, it can be a landline number, it can be a um, cell phone number as well. So I'm just gonna create a route pattern in this way, like nine dot at. So at means anything, any number right or you can add this exclamation as well and this add as well right so you can just add this nine dot add so if anyone is dialing nine first that means it will provide an outside dial tone here you can see provide outside dial tone is checked and then route partition let me add pt underscore internal why am i adding pt underscore internal because this partition will be a part of every css in my environment because i know i have created css and partition and i'm gonna give pt underscore internal on every css on every phone so that's why i'm just adding it here so in the description i'm just adding outbound calls to pstn right then numbering plan it's saying not selected then the nnp because i are just selecting nine dot add it will show it under the nnp that is not american numbering plan then we have this thing that is gateway slash route list so it will show the trunk as well it will show the gateway as well and it will show the route list as well right so let me just click on this route list underscore pstn and then here are the things that is provide outside dial tone and if you want it to add it as an urgent priority that means you can just click on it right if you want to transform anything then you can just choose it up here and then click on save okay so now your route pattern is created it's showing as successful route pattern is created this route pattern contains this route list which is already created this route list underscore pstn is already have a route group and that route group is already having the gateway this route list underscore pstn have now let me discuss about that slrg because this route list underscore pstn contains slrg that is standard local route group 
and the second priority is route group underscore PSTN, which we created. So for that SLRG, I need to go to device pool. Device pool is under this call routing and then device pool. Where is the device pool? Oh, sorry, that is under system and then click on device pool. But let me just tell you what is the main concept of that SLRG. So as you know, uh, here the try says, if you are at any particular location, your call should go to the PSTN world from the local site gateway only. But now, if I consider this configuration, which I just created, if somebody is dialing from like say, like say any company uh, sites in Gurgaon, Pune, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Noida, and like four, five, seven sites, right? If they're dialing nine dot something, something, something number, nine dot one, two, four, six, four, seven, one, triple zero, two, that is my internal. But if they're dialing any external number, which is a cell phone number, like nine dot nine, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, if they're dialing this one. So pattern is same, like I have created one pattern only, but if I select a gateway under that route group, the calls will go to that gateway only and it will go outside from that gateway only. It doesn't matter if you are located on the Noida site, on the Gurgaon site, on the Pune site or the Hyderabad site. It will go to that gateway only which you just put it under the route group. But here comes the SLRG concept. Try says, your call should go from the local gateway only. So now if I selected under the route list, I selected SLRG as the first priority. So call will go to that SLRG first and SLRG, you need to add the gateway under that SLRG and where that SLRG is there, the SLRG is under the device pool, which I'm gonna just show you, I'm just gonna show it to you right now. I just clicked on add new mistakenly, but let me go back to my device pool because I already created device pool earlier. So I'm gonna show you that device pool. So once you select the local gateway under that device pool and this device pool will be given to only phones which are related to one site. Like you will create a different device pool for different sites, right? So if you are in different site, if you're at a different site and you are making a call from that particular phone from Hyderabad site. So that Hyderabad phone would be in Hyderabad device pool and that Hyderabad device pool contains Hyderabad local site gateway. If you are in Pune, then that Pune phones would be under Pune device pool and Pune device pool having SLRG contains the Pune site local gateway. So if you're making a call to that particular site, it will go to that particular site gateway. Let me show it to you. Like I just created this, I have created this DP underscore test device pool earlier. And here you can see, I have a concept of SLRG standard local route group. Earlier it was showing none when I was creating device pool. And this route group I created, route group underscore PSTN. Right, And this route group underscore PSTN will contain the gateways of that particular sites. So you need to create route groups for that particular sites and that contains primary or secondary gateways of that local site. So now if I choose this route group underscore PSTN and click on save, any call from that route list would go to the SLRG and this SLRG contains route group underscore PSTN and that route group underscore PSTN will contain different gateways and it depends on the device pool. Like if you are in Hyderabad, you will choose the device pool of Hyderabad. If you are in Pune, your phone will automatically choose the device pool of that Pune phone, right? Now, maybe you will get confused by this, like, because I just have one gateway added. That's why it's like, I have only route group underscore PSTN. I'm showing it to you here SLR, under SLRG as well. I am getting this added underscore under that as a uh, route group as well. So maybe you will get confused in this, but don't get confused. The main concept is you should choose 
particular local site gateway under that SLRG and that SLRG should be under device pool and that device pool should be under particular phones of that site, right? So I hope this concept is clear to you, the SLRG concept or any other concept. I'll maybe I'll I'll create one more video on only only on the SLRG concept and I'll show it to you with the help of diagrams and I'll add like multiple gateways and then I'll add multiple sites. I'll show you the demo of this only SLRG concept that is standard local route group, right? So I hope this thing is clear to you. Now your call is like if someone is making a call, call will go to route pattern, route list, route group, and then gateway, right? Now call is already reached to your gateway. Now if call is reached to your gateway, your gateway ports have PRI, which is already connected, which is already configured. Now your call will go to the outside world with the help of that particular PRI may not one it, it can be two it can be four from that like with the help of those PRIs your call will land on your PSTN world right for the dial peers I'll I'll discuss it in the next lecture once I discuss about the inbound call flow right because now your call is already reached to your gateway and once I'm gonna discuss about the dial peers it will get all the things the inbound dial pair, outbound dial pair, VoIP ports, everything, right? So just stay tuned for my next video as well, right? And if you have any comments, if you have any queries, just let me know in the comment section. And if you really like this video, please hit like, share and subscribe as well. And please press the bell icon so that you will get notifications of all my upcoming videos. Thank you.